have the new G Power Stringer, Stringer, Stinger trailer. Okay, tell us about that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta laugh a little bit. This is funny. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I screw up. It's I don't, <laughs> there's a little mix up in the shipment, so I, I don't have any new ones yet, so I'm still using my ones I prototype. It's pretty funny. Did you guys have one? We have an image on the, on the screen here they can look at. Right. Right it's really cool. Is that it took me, as I, like I said, I throw spinner rates all the time. I have frustrations with spinner rates. I'll tell you one thing about the trailer I came up with is one of the irritations I get with a spinner bait or a buzz bait or even bladed jigs, you know, you throw, you can put a trailer hook on those is a lot of times that trailer hook will wrap the trailer. You put a, a you know, a ribbon tail, a twin tail, whatever it is, it always kind of, it kind of wraps. I'm going to just sh show you like, a, because I don't have one, it's really corny, but I'll show you what effect of that hook. If you pull on a traditional trailer hook, it's going to be like that, right? If you put tension where a fish would hang on the hook, and I, and I looked at it, and I was like, this is ridiculous. That's why fish will fling that spinnerbait. Like, when they come up and shake real hard, and they beat in the, oh, he's on the trailer. You always hear guys say that. Well, they, it, the trailer hook opens up. So I put a bend in the eye. And when I did that, now when you put force on the hook in the same spot and pull real hard, it, it actually stays in line with this hook. And that actually helps keep the fish on a lot better. But also it's hardly ever snags a trailer. It actually did two things instead of one. So uh, basically it's going to be a, it's a, it's a, it, it's, it's something that you'd never think you could reinvent, but I kind of, that little bend I put in the eye actually did kind of change the trailer hook. And I think it's going to make it a lot better for a lot of people. I, 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 I don't think I can fish the old trailer hooks anymore ever. Yeah, when they really first put it on the screen, I was like, what is a bend in that thing? And I'm yeah, never going yeah, to yeah. second guess Aaron, but I was like, there's got to be a reason behind it. I thought it was the wrong yeah. hook, Corey. That's why I thought so, a, too. Uh, but yeah. hey, so I hadn't seen that yet. And Aaron, this is not a problem that's unique to you. I, I went down the rabbit hole trying to bend shorter shank hooks a couple of years ago to make a perfect trailer hook that I didn't feel like was on the market. And, and I actually talked to the guys at Gamakatsu and owner about it. And actually, maybe Aaron... You and I talked about it a couple of years ago at ICAST and, and goes to show you were already working on it and three steps ahead of us. So uh, that's a great solution. And I think it anybody who's tried to fish trailer hooks and a soft plastic trailer, it can be frustrating. It is. It was like, uh, like amazing how well it works. I didn't expect it. I, I still don't know how I remember doing it, but the fact that the hook stayed in line with the upper hook, so they're went from like opening up to that part and then I started using it on the buzz baits and stuff and the fact that I wasn't hanging my trailers in them anymore it was because I, I mean I fish those type baits with trailer hooks all the time and it really did work really really well so hats off to you that have them so far as I'm waiting on my shipment still they're coming <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta get some of these for me uh I'm really a actually really excited about yeah, this yeah. product I mean, it's a trailer uh, hook but it's a big deal yeah right? so available for pre-order on the site